in Minneapolis, Minnesota today regarding the long-awaited sale of the Washington Commanders, and congratulations have been issued after that vote has approved unanimously the sale of the Commanders to an investor group led by Josh Harris. We'll take you now to Minneapolis, where NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has made his way to the lectern. Good afternoon. Um, as you all are aware, the primary purpose of today's meeting was uh, to uh, approve the transaction of the Washington Commanders. Um, I think you all know uh, that that vote was unanimously uh, taken today. And Josh Harris uh, and his impressive ownership group was improved uh, 32 nothing. So Josh, congratulations. Thank you. Come on over, we got something for you. Okay, excellent. Amazing. <laughs> Okay, I, um, let me make a few comments about Josh. Um, uh, I think Josh is going to be a great addition to the NFL and his ownership group. Um, he has a remarkable business record, uh, not just uh, in finance, but also now in sports. And I think he's a, a person who cares deeply about uh, not just his assets, but his, more importantly, his communities and how he gives back. So. Uh, we look forward to having uh, Josh a part of the league. Um, he's brought a, an incredible group of investors and partners uh, that all seem to have uh, ties to Washington. Uh, as someone who grew up in Washington, um, I know how important that franchise is to that community. And um, the franchise, um, I know, is in good hands with this group. So we're thrilled to have him. Um, and so uh, we'll invite Josh up. He'll take a few questions, and then I'll be back for a few more questions. Thanks, Roger. Yep. And hello, everyone. It's an exciting day. And uh, Commissioner, thank you for um, voting for us and uh, allowing us to be partners and uh, great stewards in the NFL. And we're excited for your trust, and we will not let you down. Confident. So as a, as a lifelong Washington football fan that grew up in Chevy Chase, I'm incredibly excited and humbled by the opportunity to serve alongside my partners as stewards of this great franchise on behalf of the city of Washington, D.C. One of my first memories as a child was walking down East Capitol Street, walking into RFK Stadium, hearing the roar of the crowd, you know, feeling the rumble, I grew up watching Sonny Jurgensen, Billy Kilmer, Joe Theismann, Mark Rippon, Doug Williams, you know, the Hogs, Joe Gibbs, Daryl Green, Art Monk, and three Super Bowls. And I remember that's the Washington, then Redskins, now Commanders that I remember. This franchise is part of who I am and who I've become as a person. But being a fan is not enough. To be successful, we understand that we need to win championships, create a positive impact on the community, and create incredible mem memories and great experiences for our, our fan base, much like I had as a youth growing up in Washington. We'll have more to say in the days that come, but today I want to leave it here. To our team and the incredible fan base in Washington, a new era of Washington football is here. It's time to get to work. Thank you. <clears throat> Josh, this, is obviously, is, this obviously was an up-and-down process. What are your feelings about the process as you get to the end of it? And also, do you have a sense of the significance that this day holds for both the fan base and for the league as a whole? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously it was a long process. Uh, sometimes um, that's what happens. Uh, we're very excited to get to work uh, and to start uh, the new era of Washington football. And... Um, yeah, I mean, we, we are humbled and awed by the level of responsibility that we have to, uh, to take care of the city and to win championships and to, you know, really uh, excite the fans again. Next question, John Hines, ESPN. 
you, you just stated how you grew up as a Washington fan. I did. Has it been hard for you to <clears> see how the, the team has kind of deteriorated over the last couple decades? And what do you feel is a responsibility to kind of rebuild that? And how, you know, is it an immense responsibility? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously it's an amazing day for me uh, and very exciting, but uh, I'm, I've had many sleepless nights and I will have many sleepless nights. Like, I'm gonna sweat this. Uh, I feel an awesome sense of responsibility to the city of Washington. I know what I gotta do. Uh, and ultimately that comes down to winning and uh, it's not easy. There are uh, 31 other owners that are good at what they do. There are 31 other cities, uh, but it's on me and it's on our ownership group to deliver and that's what we're gonna do. Hey Josh, congrats. You've talked about the glory years and everything, and all of that was at RFK Stadium. Roger Goodell, the last time we spoke, he said he understands how important RFK is. How important is RFK to you, and, and how do you view that in the prism of the, the new brand, and are there a lot of things for you to consider there? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously we're just getting here, and we're on the eve of training camp, which starts, you know, obviously this weekend and into next week. And, uh, you know, our first priority is like gonna be football and what we do on the field. Uh, we're hard at work trying to figure out how we improve fan experience. And then we're gonna start engaging with the community. Those are our three priorities. And obviously there's a lot of things. I mean, what I love about Washington, it has incredibly passionate football fans and uh, they wanna talk about a lot of things. And obviously uh, that's one of them. And uh, we're gonna be focused on that. But right now it's day one and it's gonna take a while to uh, unpack what really makes sense. As far as RFK, I mean, obviously uh, I understand it's the spiritual home of the history of the commanders. Hey there. I know that you have a home in Philadelphia, New Jersey, <coughs> obviously owning different teams and different sports. How involved do you see yourself being with the commanders? Do you see yourself being in Washington a lot of the time? Yeah, so look, first of all, my mom is in Washington. Uh, my friends, where I grew up, um, she's still there. Um, so I'm going to be in Washington a lot. Uh, I'm gonna, I need to be present. Uh, I'm gonna be part of the community again. I'm really looking forward to coming home, cousins, friends, uh, and, and so, uh, yeah, I have a lot going on, but uh, you know, this is uh, incredibly important right now for this city, and I'm gonna be remembered for what I do in Washington, and so that's not lost on me, and so uh, I'm all in. Let's go next. Hey Josh, um, hey you mentioned the football side of things. Obviously, you've got a lot to evaluate. But how right now? How much have you been already studying, and how much have you been kind of aware of, you know, what's been going on on that side of the building? Yeah, so um, we haven't really had a lot of access uh, when you before you own uh, an NFL team or pick, pick to own an NFL team. Uh, really, there's a lot of different uh, rules to staying away. So we've had, I've met, I've obviously met the football staff. And I've obviously witnessed what they've done from the outside in terms of some of the improvements they brought to the team over the last few years. Um, it's a big, important season, but uh, you know, day one, we're gonna be engaging with them and trying to understand how they tick and what they do. And so uh, for, the, for the first season, right, we're getting here right at training camp. Um, the reality is that uh, a lot of what uh, you do as a, in ownership to affect a team happens prior to this point. And so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of listening and learning and watching and, you know, watching what Ron and his staff do. Okay, thank you, Mr. Harris. We appreciate you being here. Thank uh, you.